time to unbox a Star Trek toy I've been after for absolutely years. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with an unboxing and I want to play about with this anyway. This is, it says on the front, US Enterprise NC1. It's a standard issue communicator. Now these things are made by the Wand Company. See there, they do Harry Potter ones, they do sonic screwdrivers, they do Star Trek Phaser. There is, I will try and link in the description if I can remember, or up here, or a video that I did unboxing that quite a while ago. And if there's anything like that, they actually used one of the very few original phasers, scanned it, copied it, 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 perfect, and then stuck a load of remote control stuff inside it, so you can use it for your television, which was a bit weird, but all the effects, the, the everything was absolutely perfectly brilliant on it. This should be the same. This has been out for a few years, but don't hold that against me because this isn't the first generation that first came out. So I am, this is, I think this is for the 55th anniversary. I'm not entirely certain, but we'll find out in a second. So cardboard box, there is instructions in here as well, which I don't usually go through anyway. So yeah, 55th anniversary. So this is the second batch of them. You can talk to your mobile phone or your Starship, your telephone. I don't think it'll pair to, yeah, because basically it's a Bluetooth. This is the whole thing where they put something extra in there. For no reason. I have no reason. I'd have been happy with something that's built built like absolutely amazing and it being yeah, it being looks as good as what it does. Here's all the what the buttons do, so it is a Bluetooth device. It's probably best uh, I don't know how you'd actually use it as a Bluetooth device. You can't use it in your car and flip it open and then talk, dial people or whatever, because that you might as well just well yeah, you're not supposed to use your phone either. So not quite sure where they're coming from on the idea of where this is aimed for. So a nice little picture there of, it doesn't show the phaser, but it does show a nice box this is coming from. So we have everything sealed up in here. We have a bag, which this is, I think this is the pouch you put on your belt. So let's get inside. And we can't, the scalpel. These are really well packaged because they're in a plastic case wrapped together all nice and neat yes very nicely packaged thanks a lot there we go so it's a nice hard case let's take this off over here that goes off there definitely sealed together i'll we'll try and keep so there's a little leatherette sort of pouch which I don't know why, again, why this would have been there. I thought this might have been like a, you put it on your belt and you stick it in, but there's no bit you could loop through your belt with. But still, it's nicely pressed in there, standard issue communicator. I don't know any other communicators that they would have actually have done. So for the time being, this is exactly what it is. So I'll put that over here and have a look at the box. So little indentation there. Oh, there's feet on this as well. Probably a Starfleet on the Enterprise. Yeah, cool. So let's have a look. Oh wow. Okay, oh wow. I mean, this is, they're all soft foamed, but very high quality soft foam for the padding. This will just sit in there and hold everything in place perfectly. So, wow. So we have a base with a USB underneath it. We're looking at a second. We have this, this, this is the stand, isn't it? Yeah, because this clicks to the base. And then the USB micro. So that'll go onto there. And here is, oh, wow. Wow. Got the thing on there. There's some screws on there. No, I am not going inside this and That's cold to the touch. That is metal. It's not like one of these, look at that, even the bit in the center looks like it's moving when it's not even turned on. I assume some of these are buttons, maybe these are lights, little grill of a speaker there. These are copied. 
as best as they possibly can from the originals. And that's what's so good about these. Right, can I turn on? I don't know. Nope, turn on. Two buttons there which do... Ooh, that was a power on. Oh, look. The centre's going round. That's just freaky. Like up here are just lights which randomly are coming on. There's green. Is that red? No, green flashes. I'm using the press this button. Is the speed. Hello. This is the captain speaking. Yes, hello, Captain. This is the captain speaking. Yes, I know that. Waiting for Bluetooth connection. Okay, so they will connect to whatever Bluetooth. I'm not going to do that because this it, it just it's really good. This is the captain speaking. Yes, hello, Captain. The, the red line in the middle isn't very Waiting bright. For Bluetooth connection. This is the captain speaking. This is the captain speaking. Oh, I thought that was just a green one. So there must be multicolored LEDs on the he the anyway. So let's let's, let's try it like it's supposed to. <laughs> yeah. So you just occasionally go like yes, yes, blah, 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 blah. but flip it open. Does that do anything? No. Does that do anything? Powers up. Very quiet. So there's no charging on here at all. So everything is wirelessly charged to this. So what I need to do is. Give me a second, I'll just unpack this here and get this plugged in. Hopefully I've got a USB port to hand. If not, it's gonna to have to wait a minute. Oh, I feel a cut coming on here. Right, so we have the metal base stand, standish communicator again. We have a flat USB cable. Okay, cool. So that needs plugging in somewhere where I haven't actually got yeah I need something a bit closer which I haven't got I could do with a USB port right there so looks like your stand clicks into your base you've got two little tabs on there it's like it might be a little bit of a you know, that pushes in to unclick so you put the front bit in first and then click in the back and to undo it you press on there come okay that's good so that's not entirely held in place in there. Oh no, that's secure enough. So one end of there into, and then this will get plugged in once I find an extension. Give me a second. UXB extension found. I'm gonna plug that in there. That should, and it is, and it did. I'm gonna show you that again, actually. Lights off. That's flickering, but I can't see it flickering. It's the camera. I'll just unplug, I'll just turn that off a second. So that is glowing white, even though it shows a lot. When it's turned on... Yeah, so that's now waiting for this, I assume? Oh! Cool! Ooh! So that's charging. The light on the bottom is now charging, showing red. So this does need a bit of a charge. Can I still use it? Oh! It's just a flat, isn't it? This is the gap and speed. What, the speed. what other things can you say? Both together? This is the gap speed. No. See that bit in the middle is just, just casually spinning around nicely? This is the gap and speed. I don't think this is as useful as the phaser. Oh, he's gone orange. Is that just change? Oh, it's, it is changing colour, yeah. Changing colour for, for charging. But I assume that once it's charged, it will know and will go green. Will I charge quicker without being there? Now that's power down sound and that stops as well. That's really good. Let's try and turn it back on again. That's quiet. Waiting for Bluetooth connection. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to do that. Or should I? I've got my phone here anyway, let's have a look. Uh, Bluetooth would be, yes, yeah, settings, and I'm not going to show you my phone because it shows your TCW communicator for pairing. That was me. Connection. 
connected. Okay. Now what do you do? Voice command. Oh, he's doing voice command as well. Hello there, how are you doing? What? The phone is actually showing wanted to take a screenshot. Okay, it's different. Voice command. Take a screenshot. And the phone has... Yeah. I'll take a screenshot. About holding. Redialing last number. Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 I know who that... terminated. I got for that. <laughs> I know who my last number was. And I, um, I don't want to dial them today. Thank you. Ah, right. Um, so, yes, it's, with the instructions would have been a good idea. Um, this is the captain speaking. Double-click. What? Whoa, whoa! Whoa! Stop! <laughs> Oh, uh, 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 copyright strike. Uh, 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 get off. It's also a media player as well, and I hopefully didn't get a copyright strike. That was a, um, yeah, so double click does. Because you got so many other buttons on your right button, left button. But press and hold, and press and hold. Pay a second device. Okay. So, not connected. Connected, right. Okay, so I want to unconnect it from the phone. So, let me turn Bluetooth off on there. So I don't start playing music on my phone. Um, is that done? Yes. Um, so, not connected. This is the captain speaking. Okay. Double click. We'll be with you in a moment. Okay. Enterprise out. Cool. And pair of is, is there. Pair with the second device, I don't want to do that. Give me a little bit anyway, so I'll look a bit closer, shall we? There we go. Um up. Up? This is this a Beam us up, Mr. Scott. <gasps> it's a, it's a up down left right as well. Found doesn't do it, does it? No. No. I'm a doctor, not an engineer. McCoy! Okay, so up. Beam us up, Mr. Scott. Double jog? Spock here. Status of your landing party. So double up is is a jog. Hold. Live long and prosper. There you go. Press hold. What? Press hold and up. Wow, that's going to be difficult. So the first one I need to press and hold, and then the other one will go up. Curious. Most illogical. <laughs> so down is McCoy. Same again, double. Are you out of your Vulcan mind? Down and hold. Look, I'm a doctor, not an escalator. <laughs> uh, press and hold, and then down. I'm not a magician, Spock. Just an old country doctor. <laughs> Left. Oh, okay. They've got them all split up. Left. Jog. I can't change the laws of physics. Can I change the laws of physics? So double... I got that wrong. Double jog. I'm sorry, sir. That's about the best I can do. And I guarantee it's not good enough. Double left. So, left hold. Get a prize. Lieutenant Uhura here. That's Uhura. And left and hold the other one. Everything is quiet, sir. Okay. So now right, we have Sulu. It's going to be difficult to show with that. Captain, this is Sulu. We read you. Double jog. I don't know. We have volunteers standing by to beam down. Okay, so we have Kirk, Spock, McCoy, Scotty, Ahura, Sulu, no Chekhov. So you could probably uh, argue that this is series one. Um, right, hold. <laughs> right, press hold and right hold. Delay in hailing beep. Initial confirmation for five seconds later by a hailing beep. <laughs> Why does that stop spinning around? This is the captain speaking. 
Oh, it's gone back around again. That, I, I, I do like that. I didn't like the way it was paired up to everything. I don't know what I'm doing with it, but all the instructions are here. Absolutely everything. During a call, answer a call, increase volume when you've been paired with a phone. So you've got all your little faff around stuff and, it, and it's casually flickering away on its own little merriment with, with lights. Green. Green. Beam us up, Mr. Scott. That's <laughs> really good. I'll turn it off. So it's basically that one is just a press, but that is actually an up, down, left, right, and press. So if I can, can I pair it, can I start it off with this one? No, you have to start it with that. So let's, one more thing. Paired up, Kirk there. This is the captain speaking. Right, so, oh yes. If I wanted to, actually, let me try something with the phone, Bluetooth back on. Hope it doesn't start playing music again. And I'm a doctor, not an engineer. I know. Connected. Just there now it's connected, okay? So <sighs> what's that done with the phone? Nothing. Oh, now it's flashing blue. It was flashing green before as it wasn't doing anything. So awkward to show you. Now turn all the lights off so you can't see all the detail. Yeah. I'm a doctor, not an engineer. So that little motor that turns that you can't I literally can't hear anything from it. That is just silent. Shame sure it doesn't make a beeping noise when you close it, but that is so cool. That is just so cool. And then power off. So on the stand, it just it's it just magnetizes on. There is just this connected. See, it's it's literally just just it's on, and it will charge itself up wirelessly. I could probably do the phone as well actually, to see if that would be. I mean, it's obviously designed for that, with it being the curve on there, but. Yeah, so I think that's further up with where my phone's wireless charging is. Yeah, that won't do that. But leave it on. It's charging. It's just flashing away nicely. And then, because he, well, he can't, but you can see there. There's a nice charging light. This is this is really good. I'm actually, um, yeah, a little bit taken aback by it. It's really, really good. And again, if you want to keep it out on display, possibly a little pouch. It's a little bit tight, but these do quite easily stretch anyway to, to yeah, when you're using it. Brilliant for Comic-Con, absolutely amazing for Comic-Con. Straight out, don't know why, but that'll be probably in your pocket anyway. So, yes, and cool. Very, very cool indeed. Don't want to turn it off again for, because it's going to go back on when it goes back into there. Cool. Back on again. Connected. I know you're connected. I don't want you to be connected. Don't play any music again. Thank you. I know we copyright, but I haven't got any copyright strikes, which is good. So anyway, if you like that, go out and buy your own. <sighs> these, uh, these sort of, um, they're not toys. They're to proper collector's items lately. If you want one, go find one. Star Trek Shop US, Star Trek Shop UK. Have a look on, I don't think Amazon have got any of these. It's straight from, from the actual um, Star Trek shop. So, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe, follow on social media and I'll see you on another video. Bye for now.